Hello everyone, welcome back to Analytical Guy. In this video, we will continue our playlist on Cricket Analytics using Microsoft Power BI and working on DEX queries. So in previous videos, I talked about how we can get the ranking of the teams and how to get the total matches played. And it is not that easy because we uh, have uh, the team names uh, in separate columns. So we have to use use relationship function of DAX. So this is how uh, we touch based in the previous videos. In today's video, we will talk about how to get total wins, loss, draws, and then we will talk about win percentages, points and percentage. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll say talk about total wins. So this is so I won't be writing any DAX. I'll just show you what I prepared for it. So total wins here. If I select a table, so this is taking total wins, this one. Now, if you see, this is similar to what we did in number of games played, of course, because that's similar, right? So now, how the winner is evaluated, if we go back to the table, and if we select uh, test matches data, here, if we see, the winner is here match winner is here so you can see two matches were won by australia and blank means it is a draw so match was drawn for the second match right so we have a match winner column and we have match result text as a column as well where we have uh, all the details like australia won by 94 runs match drawn and so on and so forth so if i go to total wins here what i have to do is i have to calculate i have to count all the records from matches data table where the match winner is equal to selected value in the country name. So if the selected record is West Indies here, so whenever the match winner is equal to West Indies, so calculate all those records. Similarly here, whenever the match winner is in the values of country name, but use relationship between country ID and country info with the team 2 ID instead of team 1. Here we, uh, by default, it is taking as team 1 ID. Here I'm saying use relationship to take the team 2 ID. Now it will give me total sum, right? Now, if you see here, this is a filter because I don't want any uh, team uh, which uh, includes Afghanistan, Ireland or Zimbabwe because they are not participating in this test series. So this is what is used to get the total wins. If you see here, there is one difference. So I used uh, equal to selected value in uh, calculating the game split. Here I'm saying in values. So this is totally correct. And there, this is another way of uh, working on it. So instead of in values, if I say equal to selected values of this, then this is also fine. So this one is equivalent to this, right? So what I'm saying is in values, this, these are the keywords. So I'm saying all the values in, in, in this sh should be equal to this, then count all the records, right? So this is how we will calculate total wins. Now, in order to get total loss, it is calculated as total played games played minus total wins minus total draws. We have already calculated total wins. So let's calculate total draws and then we can calculate this as well. Right? So if I go to total draws, so again, this is equal, uh, I mean, similar to what we did in total wins, but there is one uh, difference. So in total draws, whenever the match winner is blank or the match winner is equal to drawn, whenever these two conditions are there, then the match has been drawn, right? So if this is a filter, so I'm applying this filter to this. So everything is same. So whatever we did in the total wins, it is absolutely same. All I'm doing is I'm adding this condition where match winner should be drawn or match winner is a blank. Same with this as well. Everything else is totally same. So once I do this, so I'm getting total drawns. So now I have total matches played wins then i have total draws so loss will be equal to matches played minus wins minus draws and ties so here ties is all zeros as we did so this is how we can calculate matches played wins losses and draws 
Now coming to win percentage, if I say win percent, that should be equal to total wins divided by total games played. So here total wins divided by total games played. This is so straightforward. Now if we have to calculate the PT that is points, so points is equal to to, uh, total wins multiplied by 12. So whenever a team wins, it will give, get 12 points. For a tie, it will get 6 points. For a draw, it will get 4 points. So now I'm saying total wins into 12 plus total draws into 4. So this is how you can get the total points. So I have not considered uh, 6 points for tie because there is no tie. But generally you should to make it more dynamic. So it will be plus total ties into 6. But the, in our case, it is zero, so it doesn't matter right now. And now, minus selected value of points deducted. What I have done here is, so I don't have a separate uh, details of uh, whenever the points were deducted. So if I go here on the table points deducted, there is a country name, then points deducted. So England total points deducted for the complete year of this BGT, uh, sorry, in this particular test championship is 22. For New Zealand, it is 3, Pakistan, it is 8, Bangladesh is 3, India is 2, and Australia is 10. So, have this to calculate the points for this particular championship 23-24. So, if we see here, in total points, I have uh, deducted these points so as to get the exact points. So, this is how we will uh, calculate the points. And now, if we have to consider the PCT, that is percentage so if I see here, this is PCT, this is straightforward total points divided by total games played multiplied by 12. Right, so this is how you will calculate the PCT as well. So in this video, we captured everything from matches played, wins, losses, draws, win percentage, points and PCT. So in case you have any confusion, you are confused with particular thing, please let me know in the comments below. I'll uh, try to assist on that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. In up upcoming videos, we will talk about the batting statistics and then we will compare one player versus another player. What is a good strike rate, then averages and all those things. Once that is done, we will talk about the bowling averages and bowling statistics overall. And this is going to be very interesting series. Please do follow and like. And if you have any queries please do comment below and you can reach out to me as well on linkedin thanks a lot for watching this video cheers